in a place far, far away from where we are, lived a colony of cute, flightless birds called penguins. <laughs> cute, right? Okay, that that's enough. Hi, my name is Atira Chef from Tishar Anwar, metric number 210977, and today I'm going to be talking about my one of my all-time favorite book called Our Iceberg is Melting. So, long story short, this book tells the story about a little penguin named Fred. Fred had always been a curious little bird. Um, while other penguins are busy hunting for food, Fred spent days and nights studying his surroundings. That is when he realizes a fact that's gonna change his fate forever. The iceberg is melting. This book mainly focuses on how you can create a change in an organization. Every character in the book represents different types of people you can find in an organization and even yourself. This book is based on John Cotter's research on 8 steps that can produce the needed change in any kind of groups or society. When I first saw the book in my father's collection, I was attracted to the penguins on the cover. I mean, who wouldn't? The book doesn't have that much emotional rollercoaster. Definitely the kind of book you'd want to read on a calming Sunday evening. However, the after effect is amazing. The book really made me more aware of my surroundings and especially about how people act in a group. So one, one thing I love the most about this book is how the author delivers such an important message in a very fine and fictional way. Note to you, I'm a fictional reader and I find it hard for me to read a non-fiction book, especially books that talk about leadership, entrepreneurship, things like that, because it bored me to death. That's why this book is a game changer for me. Having a fictional book that talk about leadership, where, where else can you find it, right? However, it kind of annoys me how the author tried to keep the reader in touch with reality. For example, um, Fred carries a, 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 like a briefcase with him everywhere he goes because that is where he keep his research and materials and then the author would be like um, yeah he carried a briefcase it's weird but like it's a fiction so we don't need that kind of info you can make the flightless bird fly and I would believe you for real my favorite quote from the book is empower others to act Remove as many barriers as possible so that those who want to make the vision a reality can do so. Encourage others to remove barriers and make true innovation happen. Um, generally, to those who find it hard and boring to read non-fictional book, but want to try, because why not? <laughs> Specifically, I would suggest to students because, of course, we're the future leader. Okay, as cliche as it sounds, that's the truth. Um, especially um, while doing group assignment, or maybe you're a leader of a society, university society, and whatnot. It actually helps you to view from others' perspective how different types of how there are different types of leaders and how different types of need of how these different kinds actually help um, in creating the change that we need so i think that's all from me make sure you read it it's a fun book um personally i would give it like uh maybe 4.3 out of 5 because i hate it when the authors try to keep me in touch with reality and also I hate glossy paper but overall it's a fun book uh, definitely should read it because why not